This is our trip from the States to Thailand. So here we are on our first flight uh, to Chicago. Um, there's Lev sleepy. It was really early in the morning. We're about to head over to Chicago from Florida. Um, so we arrived here in Chicago. We didn't realize that we had to get our luggage um, for our connecting flight on China Eastern. So just double check to see if you have to go grab your luggage and then head over um, to the China Eastern terminal to check in your luggage again. Um, and here they allow 40 pounds, uh, which is 18 kilograms. So make sure your bag doesn't weigh over 40 pounds or they'll charge you more money. Uh, and then this is the flight. This is a uh, business class. And then this one is um, economy. It's a, it's a pretty full flight. So a lot of people on there. Huge difference. I think, I mean, I think there were probably about a thousand people on this plane. You can see it's pretty packed on China Eastern. Uh, we were flying from Chicago to Shanghai. Um, I think it was a fortune hour flight. And each seat has their own little um, television. They have free movies and TV shows on there. Um, you can watch whatever you want on the way over there. It is limited. They do have a few things, but um, you know, you have a good selection to choose from. Um, let's see, this is when we arrived in Shanghai. Um, just to let you know, if you're connecting to an international flight, for instance, we were going to Thailand, um, you do not need to get your fingerprint done. We thought we did, but we didn't. Just follow the signs from the international connecting flights, and um, when you get to this checkpoint, you can check yourself in at a kiosk. You can just follow the instructions there and then you can make your way through this checkpoint and then through a security checkpoint to get into the actual um, waiting area to your next flight. Uh, so this is the waiting area where all the restaurants and, um, and all uh, shops and seating areas. This, this airport just was endless. It just went on and on and on. and. Um, I mean, we didn't go through the whole airport. We just, we kept walking as far as we could, but we were pretty tired because I think it was like, we didn't sleep for a whole day, I guess. And we were just kind of walking around, checking out some areas, looking for some food. Oh, just to let you know that um, if you're trying to convert US dollars to bot at this airport, what they, what they do, we didn't do it here, but what they do is they have to convert US dollar to yen and then yen to baht. So I wouldn't recommend doing that there. Um, I would, if you didn't convert it in the state, which you can, if you can find a ex uh, money exchange place, um, I would recommend uh, you wait until you get to Thailand before you exchange your US dollars there because then you get charged, you only get charged a transaction, one transaction fee instead of, <laughs> instead of two transaction fees. So, um, so I would recommend you wait. Um, and then we go to um, this human conveyor belt. <laughs> it's convenient if you want to check out the whole airport. You can just stand on there and it just keeps going, going, going. I just wanted to show you there's, there's more shops. Okay, so this is a Wi-Fi kiosk. Um, if you want to connect to their Wi-Fi um, there because your U.S. Uh, provider, most if you didn't, open it up most likely it's not going to work there so you can go to kiosk you have to scan your passport and follow the instructions and it gives you a code um, you put you connect to their wi-fi and put in the passcode on your phone or your laptop the, the internet is okay it was limited but it, it was all right um when we got there we didn't know our gate number so we had to check out the board um, for our gate number and it was on there maybe a couple hours later and also everything's in military time so <laughs> you'll eventually get used to it so this is our flight um, and from Shanghai to Bangkok it was really quiet and we just slept on it um, and then this is us getting to Bangkok I got to start getting used to everything being on the left <laughs> um, this is when we when we first got off the plane and we were making our way to um, the baggage area to collect our baggage um, the signs are in English, so it's, it was easier to find. It was huge down there, so I, uh, we had to ask somebody where our luggage is, but um, they also have boards there where you can look to see if you can find your 
um, what your baggages are. And there's an exchange place there. And then this is our little place that we're staying at. Um, when we first arrived in Bangkok, we got an Airbnb for like $10 a night. It's a really simple place. And um, it has a, a bed, a seating area, a refrigerator, a television, and the bathroom. And the shower is really like just the, it's really just the entire uh, bathroom. So that was kind of funny. Anyways, um, that was our whole trip um, from the States to Thailand. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.